If I gave you 20 minutes to make a character in Fallout 4, what would you do? And I'm not talking about making a character in character creation, I'm talking about once you've left Vault 111. You've got 20 minutes to gather and collect whatever you want. What do you prioritize? Most people would prioritize a weapon. Overseer's Guardian, Spray and Prey, or Kremis 2. Just something in order to carry you through the rest of the game. But where are you going to get ammunition from? Armor? Medication? Quest items? You still need to get to the Institute, and you still need to cross the Glowing Sea. It kind of seems more and more impossible the more you bring up. Which is why today, we're going to be trying to beat Fallout 4, but I've only got 20 minutes to make a character. And it's in survival too. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was gone! Yes! Quick door! Oh! <laughs> Before we get too far into this video, I do want to explain that Tiled Man Part 2 and Part 3 are coming out in this channel before Starfield releases. In fact, we actually have four uploads that we plan to release before Starfield comes out, including this video. So in order to make sure you don't miss any of those goodies, you guys clearly should subscribe to the channel, right? You should subscribe to the channel. You should subscribe to the channel. Anyways, back to 20 Minute Man, and in order to explain my setup for this run, I'm going to use my failed attempts to explain the route and what it is we're doing. So let's start it off with run number one, and let's talk about my special stats. I'm mostly taking Endurance and Agility because these are two very important resources for running across the Commonwealth, but also I'm taking Strength, which will become very useful later on. After leaving Vault 111, we head straight to our house to pick up an extra special point before scrapping a ton of stuff inside of Sanctuary because I need this loot in order to build the Institute teleporters. Then I make sure to head inside of the cellar and Sanctuary to pick up the golden bars and all of the food items there because, again, that'll become very useful, before heading east to the scrapyard in order to loot all of the goods that lay there. For people that don't know, there is a sentry bot, a fat man, a mini nuke, and a couple of military grid circuit boards, which is very useful because that's one of the resources we need to get into the Institute. So with the fat man and mini nuke obtained, and I self-destructed the sentry bot in order to loot it for a biometric scanner as well, because again, I need that to get into the Institute. However, a good side note here is that if I don't get the biometric scanner drop here, I can just simply buy one from either Trudy or from Trashcan Carla, because those two vendors are on the way to Diamond City. But before getting to Diamond City, I head into the CIT ruins to pick up another mini nuke and then head towards Diamond City to start Diamond City Blues. Unfortunately, when I was heading towards Diamond City, I saw one Diamond City guard just get absolutely eviscerated and me being the opportunist I was, I thought I'd go pick up his armor. Uh, for people that don't know, Diamond City armor is actually very, very high level. So picking this up in the early part of the run would have been very useful, but then I died. So, there goes run number one. It'd be really cool if one of these guys died. Yes! Quick! No! <laughs> Don't really see anything here about run number two, so let's get on to run number three. With run number three, I did everything in run number one before, except I made it all the way to Diamond City, where I would start Diamond City Blues if I didn't reset my timer. Ouch. Whoa, shit, the timer reset. Tender got in a fight. Nice of you to call it a fight. I... We both know what really happened. So, run number four was everything from run number one and run number three combined, except I actually made it into Diamond City, and I did start Diamond City Blues. And the reason why Diamond City Blues is so important is because there is a cache full of drugs that we will need for this challenge run. However, I died to the uh, drug dealers, and it didn't go that well. Run number five. Yeah, in run number five, I kind of forgot to pick up the quest item for Diamond City Blues. So I made it all the way to the drug deal spot and then there was no drug dealers, so. Where are they? Did I not loot his note? In run number six, we finally made our way to Diamond City Blues. We did everything I mentioned before, except this time I did get access to the drug cache. And what's important about this drug cache? Well, you get 60 jet, 60 psycho, 60 buff out, and 60 mentats. What more would you want? With these drugs obtained, we headed straight towards Swan, who is the reason why we picked up the fat man and the mini nuke in the first place, and then tried to kill him. Unfortunately, I messed this up and he killed me. 
Finally, we get to run number eight, where everything went smoothly. We got the resources we needed at the scrapyard, we headed straight to CIT Ruins and picked up a second mini nuke, before heading into Diamond City, starting Diamond City Blues, getting all of the drugs that I needed, heading to Swan, and using those two mini nukes to kill him so I can get an advanced power fist. The power fist is one of the strongest melee weapons in the game, and with that weapon obtained, I still had two minutes left to explore the local area, which gave me just enough time to find some legendary armor. Uh, the fuck? 14? <gasps> There's a dead guy, okay. 10? Nine? Oh, we did it! Okay, all right. I can't loot anything after this point. That is it, we're done. Holy shit, that was so close. Oh my god. So if I've used this mod correctly, I should not be allowed to pick up or loot anything after this point. We're stuck with what we have. We're gonna drop the fat man. We don't need it anymore. It's useless for us. We have our four weapons. We have power fist, pistol, sniper rifle with no ammo, so that's useless. Wait, no! Shit! Alright, we have a power fist and we have a 10mm pistol. That's all we have. God fucking damn it, dude. Are you serious, man? I want to get to a sleeping bed. How did I fumble that hard? I don't know, dude. That's... <sighs> Come on, man. I don't even know how, how where to start. Let's go get Nick Valentine. Get dog meat so he can loot for you. Fuck no! No, we can't craft anything. The only thing I'm allowed to pick up after this point is things like the power core inside Mass Fusion and the, the Corsa chip from the Corsa because I need to be able to decode those and use those items to complete the game. Go that's my only source of healing right now. Watch this. Boom. I didn't have to do that. I just wanted to. All right, let's see. Let's go for unarmed so we do more damage. And then let's go in. Look at this place. <laughs> I'm so tempted to loot them, man. Can you go to a doctor? Nope. I mean, actually, that's a good question. Can I go to a doctor? It's not taking up items. Yes? Uh, maybe. Actually, yeah, maybe. I, I kind of feel like doctors are fine because I, I can't pick up caps, can I? Oh, what about if I if a game gives me caps as a quest reward? Am I allowed to keep those? Can I disarm this? Ooh, that adds spring and copper. Ooh, I don't think that should be allowed. The, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> we don't have a lot of... Ammo. We might have to just run past these guys. Ah! Leave me alone! Oh my god, the jump stack. The jump fucked me up. The fall. The fucking. That is so annoying. Alright, we have 11 stim packs. Surprisingly, I think that might be enough to get us to the end of the game. Yeah, Jet's gonna be our best friend in this run. Just want you guys to know that. Probably gonna be using Jet a lot. But we're gonna go for this for next, Lead Belly. Lead Belly, then Rad Resistance, then Cannibal. Why Lead Belly? It's useless. Uh, radiation is gonna become a problem in this run. Go get the Hazmat Suit from Dunwich Bars. Oh, right, yeah, let me just go pick up the, the, the item, right? Yeah, let me go pick up an item. Oh wait, no, I, I can't. <laughs> I'm not allowed to! <laughs> Holy shit, this guy's strong. He nearly killed me, that that one guy. Why are they so strong, man? Jesus Christ, this is hard. No. Yes, it is! Uh, best way to kill this guy might just be Psycho, uh, Jed. Oh. Uh, anyway. Fucking kill! What do I have Psycho bound to? Four. Okay, great. Let's bind that to three. Because I just popped like five of them. <laughs> how am I going to kill... I nearly called him Post Malone. Skinny Malone, how am I supposed to kill him? Well, you know what? I didn't really want to kill him, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, I guess you could say she's got her foot in her mouth. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Oh, level up. Let's go for health. Let's play it safe. Let's go for health. 20 extra health brings us up to 260. Okay, that wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Mm -hmm. <gasps> 
you. Did you not think Geneva looks really weird? Wait, wait, Geneva. The mayor's receiving visitor. Did she start a convention? Come on, Valentine. Can you search the table, bro? Nick, bro, come on. It's right there, dude. Just pick it up. Okay, I have to pick it up. Should we have Valentine join us, or should we take advantage of Lone Wanderer? Yeah, I'll take dog meat, because Lone Wanderer works with him. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, dog. Take me to him, Take boy. me to him. Take me to Sean, boy. So by this point in the run, I had done all of the beginner and starter quests, all of the dinky little quests that the game gives you at the start, and now we were coming up to Kellogg, and he is one of the first substantial bosses that you'll ever face in the game. Now, I personally didn't think that Kellogg would become an issue, but as you're about to see, we didn't really do that well when it came to Kellogg. I'm just gonna pop a jet as soon as I run into any issues. Please move. He didn't move. Let me in, let me in, please. Please. I think they're just shooting dog meat. We're good. Woo! Fuck it, we're running. Woo! I just run past all of these guys. Please. No. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, dude. Dude, can you move, man? You're pissing me off. Dog meat, are you good? <laughs> Am I gonna beat Kellogg? I'm gonna punch him in the head. Okay, I think I know the strat here. Okay, don't get caught. Okay, this this attempt's already dead. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna try actually killing them this time. Okay, come here. That's cheating. You can't go the second way. Okay, I should probably use that mine. Bro! Bro, please. Why do you need 20 minutes for a character? Because I'm playing on survival where you need enough time to gather resources. Holy shit, what is shooting? Alright, this is good progress. Okay, I don't think I should be killing these guys. I think they're too hard for me to kill. Please! Oh! I'm alive! Woo! Sheesh! Alright, we're good. Please! No! Dude! Okay, I think running past them is probably faster and better. Fuck you guys, I'm running straight past. I figured it out now. I got the secret sauce. <laughs> Woo! All right, that is the best start we've had to any of this. And then we just gotta run straight past these guys too. Oh my God, this actually worked out so much easier. This entire time, I could've just ran straight past them, dude. Please let me buy. Oh! One of these turrets is really strong. And I've run out of AP. Please. Hold. <laughs> that freaked me out. Oh god, okay. Let's eat some food. Let's heal up, heal up a bit. All right. Jabba, can you wait five minutes? Go take out the trash. All right, you have until one hour on the timer. <laughs> what the fuck was that animation? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, run. See you later, bitches! Ah! Fuck you! Oh, oh, oh. Woo! I knew we were gonna. First try, boys! Let's go! Wait. Can you smell something? No, that, surely not. Right? <gasps> no. Who is that? Who is it? I don't know who that is. Our intentions are peaceful. Yep. That's, oh wait, wait, that's that's a vertebrate. Is this the Enclave? We are the Brotherhood oh. of Steel. Oh. If I struggled so much to defeat Kellogg, how was I gonna do the rest of the game? You know, you have some really difficult quests. The Corsa, Mass Fusion, finishing the game, and even getting through the Glowing Sea would become an issue. And my god, it would become an issue. Let's go back to Diamond City. Uh, this is Sierra 21 Alpha over. Oh shit. Uh, reporting for duty. What the fuck was that? 
I will do it again. I will win this battle. And I swear to God, I will come out victorious. Hello? We will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them in the dirt. Ah, shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to jet this guy. He's just going to follow me the entire way back to Diamond City if I don't kill him. You think you can take on John Henry Eden? Do you know who the fuck I am? John Henry Eden has officially, uh... Surrendered. <laughs> you took out the trash? I, I, I did actually kill Kellogg while you were gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't stop the gib. I'm sorry. Life is a cruel mistress. And now I will drink its water. Yeah, radiation is going to be a big issue in this run. <laughs> I don't have any Radawiz. Okay, my infection is spreading. Great. Can you die from infections? Can you say I'm Mr. New Vegas in that airplane voice? I'm Mr. New Vegas. Straight to your heart. <laughs> Uh -huh. Alright, that should cure my health and also other things. How much is reds? 40? I need to count how many caps I have left. Oh, you know what? I feel like I should be able to spend these caps that I got as re rewards for doing quests. They're my caps. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor. <laughs> walking around without insurance. <laughs> it's called a uh, seasoning chat. <laughs> Learn to respect it. Pathetic. All right, anyways, memory den time. <clears throat> Yahoo! All right, so by the end of day one, I was completely hooked on this challenge run. There was no way that I wasn't finishing this run one way or another. So I ended stream and the next day I came back with a passion. Either I was going to finish this game today or I was going to soft lock it one way or another. And, um... Day two ended up being quite a long stream. Let me pick them up. <laughs> They're so close. I can literally touch them. What's my favorite mission in Fallout 4? I think the Corsa Chip mission is really good. You have to like go into green tech genetics and destroy it. It's like the most action-packed moment of the game. To me, it's the funnest one. We killed Kellogg, we got his brain augment, we went into the memory den, and now we have to go back and uh, find Virgil in the glowing sea. We also have two level up points too. Okay, I'm gonna take lead belly because radiation is gonna be a problem. I'm also gonna take rad resistance. We need to go do Museum of Freedom. Oh, completed revi- How? I'm nowhere near the station. It's probably because I killed Kellogg first. <sighs> wait, 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 actually. <clears throat> Free food. That was actually so pathetic. Who the fuck are you? Wait, are you trying to are you trying to meet up with the other vertebird? Oh, can you can you hit him? You know. A part of me when I first played this game, I always questioned why the Minutemen, like, were just so beat down and shit. I think it's because somehow Preston Garvey has worse aim than me. I'm gonna skip the dialogue, no one cares. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go straight for the Death Claw because if we kill the Death Claw, then Raiders won't actually spawn in anymore. Let's go, boys! So, the one of the things about this Power Fist is it does more damage the more you hit the same target. That was easy. Hello? Can I get in? You know what? Fuck this. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some wicked sick cool shit. Watch this, Chad. I'm gonna show you guys how to get into Museum of Freedom without using the front entrance. That's right. You can get into Museum of Freedom by getting on the roof of this church to the left of the Museum of Freedom and jumping along the uh, vertebrate wings and getting on top. Yahoo! Oh, shit. There we go. Look at that, Chad. Drop the fusion cells he gives you. He gave you. Sure, I'll drop them, but I don't really feel like I need to. I'm not gonna use them, but sure. All right, chat. Say goodbye to the fusion cells. Do I support Mama Murphy's drug addiction? Yes. Start all my junk in there. I gotta make sure I'm not pulling anything out of. Actually, no, I can because everything there I mined, right? So I guess everything inside of this I can have. <sighs> Where the fuck is dog meat? True, where is dog meat? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where is dog meat? Bro, we left his ass at Kellogg. 
We're gonna take his quest and then we're gonna run off to okay, well Virgil. Should I be allowed to get dog meat? Okay, question for chat. I mean, we've already had dog meat because of the quest, so he's technically already following me. I've just left him there. Come on, dog meat. We're gonna go all the way down to Virgil now, which is probably gonna be the most confusing and death ridden part of the run, so. What the fuck? Excuse Dude, that rad roach is like the strongest. What the hell? What? Why are they so strong? Aren't my arms busted? No, they're fixed. But actually, let me see what's affecting me. Psycho addiction, buff out addiction. All right, let's go get rid of our addictions. Please, I beg you, leave me alone. Okay, one sec. I'm in like actual trouble right now. All right. I popped myself a buff out that should give us enough AP to probably get across to Virgil. How many Radexes do I have? Please be four. Perfect. All right. Four Radexes should be enough for me to get there and back without dying, I hope. If I don't make it to Virgil and back, this whole run is done. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my AP to get back because I need to be able to sprint as much as I can. So at this point, we come up to the fabled moment in the challenge run of crossing the glowing sea. But I don't have to cross the glowing sea once. That wouldn't be much of an issue. No, I have to cross it four times. For people who haven't played the game before, you have to make your way all the way to Virgil, who is in the deep south of the Glowing Sea. And usually for a standard playthrough, that would be it. You would just fast travel back and forth, but I'm playing on survival, so I can't fast travel. So after meeting Virgil, I'd have to go get the Corsa chip, get it translated, head back to Virgil, back through the Glowing Sea, and then finally head back out. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was a rough time. Dude, can you leave me alone? I'm trying to make it to Virgil, man! Please! Okay, dog meat's down. <laughs> dog meat has returned to Red Rocket, that's great. With that being said, I only have three more Radexes, I have no Radaways, I have one melee weapon, lackluster amount of ammunition, but I think I have just enough to build a teleporter, we'll see. If not, then this runs over. Dude, where the fuck is his cave, man? Am I completely lost? I think I'm lost, and I'm taking way too much radiation stuff. We might have to reset this bit. Oh, there it is, I found it. How many hours have you had in this game? I, I had to go, I had to take a safer route, bro. Yeah, this guy is got a little death icon next to him. I pretty much have to be jetted up this entire time, otherwise we can't really do anything. Wahoo! You know what? Legendary. <laughs> I didn't realize he was legendary. Virgil, I'm intoxicated. Help me. What happens every 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, can can I ask you guys a question? It's quite personal. Um, can you guys read Twitch titles? Yeah, let's go for ghoulish. I think I'll be able to make it back now because I'll know where I'm going. Let's go. Are you guys ready for this? Run. Here we go. I don't have much left on my radiation. It is kind of really hard to die from radiation poisoning in this game because once it gets to the end, it kind of exponentially falls off or whatever it is. You can get to like the bottom of your health bar and not die for like a short while. My problem right now is my AP bar. My AP bar is not regenerating at all. Uh, would you guys be surprised if I said I'm already lost? <laughs> you guys know when like SpongeBob gets really dehydrated and he like wants to drink the water? <laughs> I want to drink that radiation water, man. I'm dying. All right, we survived the glowing sea, boys. It's okay, I'm alive. I'm not I'm not on the cusp of dying. <laughs> How much health do I have? <laughs> I probably need to drink. So we'll probably probably drink from the river before we get to Diamond City. Will the river, river rads kill me? Uh, dying from radiation poisoning is really hard in this game. I just need like two sips. Okay, three sips. Okay, four sips, we're gonna get greedy. Five. I need it to not be red. There we go, that's perfect. Oh my god. All right, let's get back to Diamond City. Please do not shoot me. I will literally die. All right, we're fine, we're good. Okay, we made it, chat. Holy shit, that was nerve wracking. Oh my god. We made it home. Holy shit. Here we are, boys. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Sorry, he's got the health of a British boy in the 1700s. Yeah, I'm an impoverished six-year-old child that's been forced to chimney sweep, and the next chimney that I sweep is gonna instantly kill me. I would like you to cure my rats, please. Oh my god, chat, we're alive. What the fuck? Let's get it, boys. This is one of the hardest areas in the game. I know speedrun strats, so I'm gonna try it. It's gonna be a bit of a rough experience, but... Did you make sure the explosions don't insta-kill me? I knew it was gonna happen. No! 
Okay, don't play the God of War music twice. Come on. What's going on, young? How many oh shit, you. She jump scared me. <laughs> Holy shit! Ow, 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 Holy shit, my health is so low. Eat them for health? Oh, yeah, 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 I can do that. I forgot about that. I can eat people. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck! I... <laughs> Plan B. We're just going to kill him really slowly and take our time. God forbid I try and just rush past the, the enemies. I'm don't, I don't care. I'm wasting my ammo. I, don't, I really don't care. <laughs> Gotta be shitting me. Bam! Bing! Bong! <laughs> Can I eat this guy? Surely my character won't just immediately eat this. Right. Okay. Alright, that's good. We got the first floor cleared and we can move on. Oh shit! I was not paying attention. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, come in. I got, I, that was my fault because I literally forgot that they were around that corner. Dude, are you shitting me? With a 10mm pistol, this guy nearly insta killed me. Are you kidding me? God true. God the dead. You, you gotta be shitting me. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> There's a terminal for turrets in each floor. Can't tell me that. That's cheating. We need to go make a save. We need to come back. We have two guys here. These guys are the ones that've been killing me the most. As you can see, one shot from them was enough to like almost kill me. Nice. Is he gonna come down? <laughs> He's just. A, I can't eat. He's right. I'm in his line of fire. All right, fuck. We're going for it. No! God damn it! Don't run straight at them. I'm using melee. What do you want me to do? This? It's not. I'm not playing Apex Legends. Don't knock it till you try it. Fine! Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try it right here, dude. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Wait, why did that actually work? What the fuck? That actually worked. I'm gonna try just going right to the finish from here. There's a skip that I know how to do that technically isn't a glitch. <laughs> it's technically not a glitch because I said so. So. Um, nobody in this building should have a fat man. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. Get up, please. <laughs> okay, I don't I, I don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> did he just like did he just <laughs> did he Bro are you good? He just nearly killed himself with a rocket launcher. Yo, do it again. <laughs> oh, that's some Looney Tunes type stuff. <laughs> There we go, that's the skip. Bro, get up. The courser's nearing the elevator. <laughs> I don't have any 10 millimeter ammo left. This is just gonna get rough, man. Um, nice. Okay, chat, I think they're dead. So I'm gonna risk it. Cause there's enemies between there and here that are like too hard to kill. Please just let me over. Horses nearing the elevator. Ah! <sighs> okay, okay, okay. 
okay, 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 okay. There is literally just one guy to kill. Ugh. Yes, I have. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, there goes your weapon. Oh, that's perfect. I can't do that. I, I can't see, dude. He's, he's literally shadow boxing. Where'd he go? Where'd he, what the fuck? Okay, this is actually like hard. Bro, get out of stealth, man! Fight me! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. I thought I would, I thought I would. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Help me. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> right, um, the cost chip. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Diamond City, sleep, rest, make sure we save, and then make our way towards the railroad. And I think we're gonna try and kill off the railroad because the railroad, if I'm being completely honest with you, are kind of annoying and we don't want to side with them. Okay, super serious music coming up right now. So green tech genetics was a bit more of a struggle than I thought it would be, but at this point, everything in this run has been a struggle, right? And yes, we got the Corsa chip, but now we still need to decode it. And there's only really one faction that can do that the railroad, but we are also going for the Institute ending, which means we don't like the railroad. I mean, who does? So we had to do the next best thing. We had to kill them. Oh my God, I'm stuck. <laughs> no! Oh, this stupid f forced dialogue thing, man. Wait, I think they're just letting me in. Oh, I really thought I'd have to fight my way in here. I think they're just gonna let me in. <laughs> oh wait, don't I have to wipe them out anyways? <laughs> Okay, good start, good start, good start, good start. Right, now we need to heal up the good old classic way. Nom, 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 nom. Here we go, chat. You ready? <laughs> Apex Legends! Enemy. Oh wait, he's actually scary. Yeah, boys. Let's go back to like casual chill music. <laughs> doctor, doctor. This could be an emergency. It is. I have an addiction. I also uh, have a radiation problem and a healing problem. Okay, this is. We need to. We need to hurry up and finish the game. Jabo, make a vlog channel. Why the fuck would I do that? Hello, guys. Jabo here today. Back from another amazing vlog for you guys. Today we're gonna be playing Fallout 4. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. That was the best vlog ever. I do have a level up actually. Yeah, medic is stupid. We should just go for permanent. Something that's gonna help us permanently. We're gonna pop a radix and we're gonna we're gonna go for a nice little jog. Alright, my AP bar is draining very slowly, so we're good. Are you good at chess? Nope. No, chess I'm shit at. Here's my honesty with chess. People are too good at chess for me to enjoy playing it. People are doing like these Ridiculous 18 page openings. I'm gonna move my knight to, to Q6 and then uh, move over my rook underneath the knight And then if you take my knight my rook will take your it's like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing Jesus Christ man. I'd probably have like 120 elo if I did that play monster hunter Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys don't hate me, but I don't like the monster hunter games I like watching people play them. I remember when uh, the new one came out, and I think it was Limes, Lime Malicious. I sat and watched her play it for a good while, and it was fun. But I tried playing it myself, and I just got so bored. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I feel like it's a game that you have to have people you're playing with for it to be fun. But you hit dinosaurs with hammers. Bro, I can do that in this game. <laughs> 
All right, that's my last red X. <sighs> you know what? I might have just doomed the run because I need to get the mass fusion. Do I reload and do the entirety of Glowing Sea again? I think I have to. Uh, if I do this and I don't have enough to build a teleporter, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> okay, that was that was so much work, man. Whew. We're gonna sleep, save, and then go back to Sanctuary, build our teleporter, and we'll hopefully we get to actually go to the Institute. If I get to the Institute, then I've planned this run out correctly, which is all I needed to do. And then at that point, it just becomes a matter of throwing my head against the wall until we finish it. Yo, bro, what's up? I need your help with these schematics. Oh yeah. <laughs> Right, so I have to do something very particular about this bit. I believe the first piece of the teleporter doesn't require any special ingredients. One of the components that you build requires copper. It's like copper or electronics, and the military-grade circuit board has a lot of it. And sometimes the game will just scrap those instead of just using what you already have. There's a good chance this run might end here. But if it does, I've, I'm proud of what we accomplished, Chet. I think we did really good, and I, I think I'll still turn it into a video. That's one piece built. Oh my god, chat, we might have this. Yes! Oh, yes, dude! We did it, chat! Oh my god! We made it to the instant, dude! Holy shit. I, w I don't want to pat myself on the back or inflate my ego, but I did Just such a good job platform. with the 20-minute plan. The so when it came to doing this challenge run, I only had one goal in mind, and that was to get to the point where I could go to the Institute. If I somehow failed and didn't have the right resources, I still thought it would make a good video and would upload it to YouTube. But having constructed the Institute teleporter and, you know, teleporting to the Institute, I had to finish the game at this point, right? Sean! Yes, my child! It's Sean. Sean, Sean! I love you, Sean! Please come back! Please, Sean! <gasps> Who the fuck are you? Just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Alright, we're gonna do the institute ending, because it's the easiest one to do. Yes. Please don't launch it, please don't launch it, please don't launch it. Nice. Okay, so that, that skips the entirety of this area. Thank God for that. By the way, the reason why the Institute is best for survival is you can teleport to and from the Institute to well, get to- Oh! Alright, so that's mission one complete. I think we have to do five missions. Mass fusion is the one I'm worried about, but because we got two levels of rad resistance and one rad X left, we should be fine to finish the game. I'm so surprised we've got this far. I genuinely thought we weren't, we weren't going to get I'm into the institute. This is you mad. <laughs> you have to do Bunker Hill after wiping out the railroad? No, trust me. There's a way to skip it. I'll show you. To skip clearing out Bunker Hill as the institute, all you have to do is kill this guy, and it just skips the entire mission, by the way. <laughs> And uh, your dad's not happy with you, but he genuinely doesn't care. <laughs> so there we go. Jabba, what does Kek W Sean, mean? You need to uh, so Kek I W is like a Twitch culture thing. When something fault. really sad happens, I you type Kek W. So like, for example, it, whenever I die it's time and like something bad happens, you t yeah, time. my wife just died Kek W. <laughs> I think it's time we begin. Uh, you don't have to do the directoral, directoral board meeting thing. You don't have to actually do it. You just fast travel away and fast travel back and he gets mad at you. He's like, you weren't listening to me. You're not really my father. Kind of a little bitch about it, but it is what it is. All right, we got to level up. <sighs> okay, I'm going to take Life Giver because Stars it seems out. like just having the extra health might be useful. Also, we're going to do the mass fusion skip because... Again, it's technically not a glitch. I didn't sleep. Oh, shit. I didn't sleep. I'll sleep in good neighbor. It's fine. <sighs> okay, so some of you guys might not know what the mass fusion skip is. I'll show you right now. It involves jumping off a building. I am a bit worried here because there's a guy in power armor and some high level enemies. So I'm just going to jet past them. And then we want to jump from here. All the way down there, and that's Good Neighbor right underneath me, if you can see it. And the way that Good Neighbor loads in is if you go into the load, load zone like this, it automatically puts you inside of the location, so you don't take fall damage. And that way, we can skip the entire elevator down section of uh, Mass Fusion, which is, in my opinion, the hardest part. Yeah, I don't think this challenge run would be possible if I didn't know speedrun strats. <laughs> this would be way too hard. I think two, one Radex should do this. 
Mission complete. Here we go, you boys. Proceed. This is a lot of... We have to be really fast with this. I'm going to pop the jet just to make sure we're not wasting any time. Oh, please. Hand me the baby. Now we have to figure out how we survive the upcoming combat section. <laughs> oh! Close! Close! I have to get a few more hits in and then hit it with a crit. We got that easy. That's the critical strike? That did no damage this time. We have just enough time from one of his attacks to get free hits off. Ooh, how did I not die from that? Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, this next bit's gonna be a bit harder. One stim pack I think should do. Oh, I'm so dead now. Where's the exit? Oh my god! That was fucking sick! Dude, hit it with the beam! Thank you! Oh! Fuck me! The level up, man. Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm gonna tr I don't think we can get Blitz, but I'm gonna try and get it. There's still one more robot left to kill. If I die to this guy, that'd be so embarrassing. Dude, take damage, man! Jesus Christ, dude, blow! Oh my god, dude, that was so stressful. I don't know how we're gonna do the ending. I need, I, okay, it's kind of a cop-out, I know, but I need to pick up the free teleporters, the free teleport beacons. I need to pick them up. If I don't have support, it's impossible. Come on, I need them! I can't, I'll be, I'll be here all night, man! Okay, we'll do a few attempts without the beacons, and if not, I have to use them. I think I soaked up some rads out there. Who is this Black woman behind me, dude? <laughs> She's looking at me like she wants to talk to me. You guys don't understand. I'm so happy with how this is going. I didn't think that this was gonna this is that this was gonna actually like work out. I didn't I didn't actually think it was gonna work, so. Wait! We might actually level up. Because we still have to do the radio quest. So I might actually get the the blitz perk after all. <sighs> right, this bit might be hard, because these lads up here. Uh, quite high level. Do I have any grenades? I do. This might actually work then. Fucking cow! What a pro. Oh, that's bullshit. That you threw a grenade at me like that. I should probably eat them for food and nutrients. All right, you. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Mm-hmm. Look, we're out of time here. All right, we're done. Oh, we did level up. All right, Blitz. There you are. So this, the rest of this is just uh, talking until we get I'm to the, the institute. until we get to the airport. Sure. It is. We're here, and we are. Your new masters. Our superior to death. We have pathetic existences. <laughs> we to your complete annihilation. Rest easy. Out of your control. And then. Did I do good? Uh, that was... Perhaps not. Uh, I could use some fresh air. Yeah, I could use I'll some fresh air after like cool. threatening the entirety of the Commonwealth. Thanks, Dad. So I, I can I can pick up those items because I need to. That quest items, right? You guys get what I'm saying? Those items I can pick up. 
Resources that I can actually use outside of quests, I can't. Chat, should I punch my dead? Facing our resources. My and we look forward to Son. It's almost hard to believe. Whatever it is. <gasps> I never level up! Uh -huh. Moving target! Okay, chat, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But we need to sprint past so many enemies here. Whatever, I need this. I, need, I don't even- I don't think we can finish the run with what we have already. Like, I don't think this is possible. The ending, I don't think it's possible. You can't really follow the conversation. Do you want me to listen to every line of dialogue in the game? Yeah, she gives me the, the, the beacons. I won't use them the first five attempts. Okay, that's my deal to you guys. I will not use the beacons for the first five attempts. If I need to after that, then I will. And you guys can, uh, cry me a river. Oh, I'm very stressed out. Is there a bed nearby? Uh, there is a bed. There is a bed. There is a bed. Yep. All right. So we have our save. Pog champ. We need to be on the other side. So I'm going to have to run around the back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's ghouls around the back. Maybe they'll help me though. If I drag these ghouls over, they might be useful. Is there ghouls? I thought there was ghouls around the back. There's a, I know there's a door. Am I just making shit up? Isn't there like a secret door? There is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why you guys think that this is gonna be like easily possible. I have one stim pack, man. Do I have any more jets? Oh, <gasps> I'm out of jet. I'm out of jet. I don't think this is actually possible without the teleporters now. How many jet do I have left? Two. You have to be shitting me. All right, I think I have an idea. If I shoot the te the first beacon teleporter thing, and then the, the, the guys start spawning, right? Maybe if I just hide, after enough time, they'll just keep respawning in and they'll kill the Brohead of Steel for me. That could work. It's very time consuming, but it could work. If I kill these guys, I might be able to eat them for food. Might be useful. What's the range of vans? Oh, that's so far. Holy shit, Vans is actually so goaded. What the fuck? That is mad. The distance on that is crazy. Not Vans, uh, Blitz, sorry. Please blow up. All right. And then I drag them down. So the sin, the, the sin should start relaying in now. And then if we, if we somehow stay out of combat, the synths might just clear out the entire airport for us. We're nearly out of bullets, but that's the only one I really needed to grab, if I'm being honest. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect for to get away from the vertebird. This. Yes. A little shelter. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is gonna give us so much radiation poisoning. Oh, I think the- I think the sims are winning! Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what's so- Hell yeah, boys! No! Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. That thing's not even close to dead. I think I can go for like a two minute break and let these guys clear. Are you actually shitting me? They're ridiculous, man. Kill it. Kill it, dude. Ooh. Like a guy fell out of the vertebrate. <laughs> Free food. Ooh, it's express delivery. <laughs> dude, what the fuck is this? Bro, can you guys just kill the vertebrate so we can focus on the Brotherhood of Steel guy? Come on. <laughs> Come on! Yes! Yes! Wait a sec. No! Oh no! They killed him! <laughs> oh my god, please. Woohoo! Good job, boys! I'm so proud of you! <laughs> I'm so fucking proud of you guys. All right, can you guys come up with me? <laughs> All right, I gotta kill this one robot by myself. Shit. All right, we're gonna use vats on this thing.
I'm alive? I'm dead? <laughs> okay, I need to save the 10 millimeter ammo for that. All right, that's literally all I needed to do. <laughs> all right. I think she's probably like gonna get absolutely destroyed by these guys. This is cringe. Well, I'm not allowed to use the teleporters, so. I need to be careful because she'll immediately aim at me in front of everyone else. Like NPC. Yeah, All right. Who's shooting? Dude, what the fuck is that bullshit? Right, let's just get to the top. Come on, spawn in. Thing is, I need to stay on this platform, by the way. I can't leave this platform. I have to stay on this. So, wish me luck. Come on. Do the work for me. I'm so, I am absolutely fucked, by the way. I don't, I don't think I can survive this. Oh shit, he's shooting at me. And then these guys are going to shoot at me. Get on the thing, bro! Where are you going? Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Get in! Good job, 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 good job. I have more protection if I keep sprinting, so... I have 25 damage resistance if I sprint. No, bro, man! We'll give it a couple more goes at the daytime, and if it doesn't work, we will... Use the teleport beacons. Please just do the transfer really fast, man. Is that a gorilla? <laughs> what the fuck? 25%. Dude. No, I cannot. Oh my god, it's dead. Are you kidding me? No one's surviving this. I don't even know if this. I don't think this is possible, man. It's just gonna take forever. I have to wait for them to kill off the vertebrates and everything. Ugh. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yep. Someone said to save every 25%. All right. I can try that out. All right. This guy's on. As soon as it hits 25%, I'm jumping off. Okay. I'm also checking these stairs. There's one on that stairs. All right. Save. We leave. We save. This is probably the only way to do this. I, I would have used the beacons if you guys let me, but... Alas, you guys are mean and cruel. You guys good? Oh, you try it. Okay, you're coming for me. Are you okay? All right, whatever, dude. Uh, leaving was a bad idea. So now I have to wait for them to come back. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Stop it. Hey, boys. All right, I think they've gone. There's one up there. Oh, no, they're there. There's two of them up there. I'm so fucking dead. <laughs> they, my, my guys aren't spawning in. They're not. They're just not spawning in. Paladin dance? Oh hell no! Buzz Lightyear is gonna kill me. I can't do that shit. All right, I think I might have to resort to using the beacons, chat. We have no. I literally have no one spawning on me. Move, please. Thank you. Can I get off and will he still stay on there? Because I can just do it 25% of the time. Like this. As long as he doesn't instantly die. Alright, 25% chat. That's some good shit right there. Oh my god, it's working. I have one jet. I can use that jet to get out. Alright, 50%. Oh, Pog Champ. 50%. Oh, it's happening. Maybe this is the strat all along. Just hide behind this green thing. Definitely need the teleporters, though. I don't think it'd be possible without it. Oh shit. No, 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 kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill, kill the knight. You have to kill that knight. You have to kill that knight. Nice! Clutch! 75%! Holy shit, he just landed above me. That's bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Come on! Please! Please, 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 please. Just do the final dialogue, just say it. We fucking did it! 
Oh my god, it's done! Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm sweating! Oh my god! You guys don't understand how hard this has been. I've had eight stim packs this entire run. <laughs> eight stim packs. No radaways. Not a single one. Eight stim packs. Jesus Christ. No items after 20 minutes. I had 20 minutes from Vault 111 to gather as much as I could, and I had to try and complete the game on survival. <sighs> there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, but we have to go have a communicative discussion with my pappy. <laughs> when you finish the playthrough, can we say bye to YouTube? <sighs> yes. And there it is. We finally defeated Fallout 4 after only getting 20 minutes to collect enough resources to finish the game. Honestly, I'm just really proud that I got this finished on the first run. I didn't think it would be possible. I thought I'd mess up by not picking up an important item or, you know, missing something early on. But it turns out we actually did really well and we finished the game. It took a bit of a grind, but we eventually got there and I couldn't be more happy. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the upload. And remember, we're currently in the middle of a mega month of uploads, which means that there's free videos planned to come out before Starfield is released. And as always, thank you to everybody that is subscribed to the YouTube membership program. I really do appreciate the support and I hope you guys are doing well. To the rest of you, thanks for watching, I guess.